Hello, welcome back to Gordon channel. In this video, we will learn how to use JavaScript libraries in a Rex website. So first of all, thank you Marilyn for asking me this question about how to use Full Canada in a Rex website. And she also asked how to customize the Canada. So let's cover it too. So the steps is actually very easy. And first of all, let's go to the Rex editor. So this is the big S Vex editor, and we can see that if we edit successfully, it will be like this. So the first step will be so let me delete this page and start from scratch. So let me uh, use a blank page as the demonstration. So here, this is a blank page. And here, first of all, first first step is choose the add and apps, and then the HTML embed. So this is add and session to page, page and apps. So apps. And in the apps, we have the many apps built in, but we need to use a customized one. So it is at the bottom. So it is called HTML embed. It means that you can do anything you want. So choose this one. HTML and back add to the blank page. Add. So now we have this part. So this session is the HTML and back session. And we can add the title, the subtitle, and else. So we can uh, ignore this part because this, this is not very important. So uh, in Wix, I got it. So this is just some content, but this part is the key part, so we need to put something into here. So first of all, where do we put? So it is the HTML settings, and choose the paste your code test box. So it is below here, the HTML settings. So we click into it, and then we can choose the HTML code or website. So we keep to the HTML code, and here the paste your code part. So here it is where we want to paste it. And what do we paste here? So I have put it in a GitHub repository, which is just created. And if we click into it, we can see the script we need to paste. So first of all, we need to import the library resources with the link tag and the script tag. So the link tag import the full Canada library 5.1.0 from its uh, content delivery network. The the CSS file, the star sheet, and then the script tag, it will import the same CDN, the JavaScript file. So this two is the essential. Without this two, we are not using full Canada. And the next part is to include the full Canada syntax. So we need an element, which is a div element with the ID of Canada, and we need a script tag. So we need to create this element, and then we get it, and then use the new full Canada method and then after setting up the options we will render it so this is the code to put into the test area so let's copy it copy and here go back to the Rex editor so html embed html setting paste your code here so copy and paste so simple so uh, now when we click anywhere else it will start to effect you see so now the canada is rendered and it is uh, smaller than uh, exit the area because the height, width and height here. So we can uh, tune the height to make it appear. So this is the Canada. Now it appears. So that's how to use the JavaScript library in Wix website. Thank you. And for the full Canada, we need to add the event to it. Otherwise, we don't need to use a Canada. So how to how do we add the events? We add it as the JavaScript object in the array. So where is the array? It is here. So it is in the events part. So in the this line, we have the this uh, square backhead. It means that it is an array. So let's take the edit file and to add the. Uh, event into it, it needs to be a JavaScript object. So I have created one. So object will be with the curly bracket and end with curly bracket. 
and it will contain two property which is the title and the start for the title it will have the colon and then a quotation mark closing and closing the title and for the start it will be colon and then the quotation mark and closing a date string so if we have more than one event we will separate it with comma so this is the syntax for one event and if we have more event so this is i will use this visit gordon's channel and visit gordon's channel every day as a demonstration so commit and we will use a new one with the events so let's copy it again and put it into it again so let's edit this part so let's go to remember is the html settings paste your code session so let's paste it again so we have the we see we have the event array now with the objects so let's take anywhere else for it to event you see now it events so now we have the uh, events here so we have successfully add the events to it so uh, the last part is to uh, customize the event canada so first of all we can go to the full canada official website and go to the we can see that the default is the blue one with the white text so we can go to the documentation here and then if we scroll down we see one pink button icon so this one in the events event display this is this is for the styling so let's click into it so we see some properties such as the event color so this is called camo case in javascript so event color are two words but the second word is stick to the word without space and it with a capital letter so this is camo case event color event background color event border color and event text color so all these properties are for styling so let's pick, pick uh, for example the uh, event background colors example so if i choose the event background colors okay what have i clicked okay event background colors so let's copy this one and where do we put it we will put it here so let's click into it so it is inside the this line in the canada dot equals new full canada dot canada this is all the options and now we add one more property to it which is the event background color we, we can just copy and paste from the full the documentation so we don't have the uh, typo so here what do we put here we need to put the color code here so we will use the quotation mark because it is a string and the color code i can we can get in the color picker so for example the top three the three schools one color picker is quite good so we can see that we have the uh, we can choose what color we like for example if i like a green color okay and for example i like a darker one okay this one for example and the color code there are three three types this one this one and this one the xss one and the rgb one and this one is the hexadecimal so let's choose the hexadecimal so it, it also has some a b c d e f as the digit because it is uh of 16 base so copy it include this hashtag so copy it and then go to paste it here inside the quotation mark because this is string without the quotation mark there will be error so after uh, updating it we will copy this again so let's copy this part again remember every time we copy the whole otherwise because this text box is too small so if we don't uh, copy whole it will be very hard to copy paste it correctly so just delete everything and paste again and click anywhere for it to event you see now the background color of the event is changed to green because we have two screen here and we have copied this code this green code has had 008000 into the property of event background color in this way after the events the square backhead comma and then this new property colon quotation mark the color code and then comma so this is how to style the canada 
Uh, so I hope this video helps. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I will come to answer when I am free. When I am free. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for your support. Bye bye.